Hi, I'm James and I'm the Head of Teacher Training at Renault um, International and today I would like to share some more motivational strategies that you can use with your students. I've already talked in a previous video about creating a, a motivational environment and creating initial motivation. Today I'd like to talk about ways to maintain um, motivation amongst your students. And some ways that you can do this is making sure that the, the lessons really match the needs of the students. In order to do this, then you need to um, do a needs analysis at the beginning of the course and then design um, lessons that match their needs. Also involving the students as much as possible in the creation of the course and the, and the curriculum um, can be very helpful. Um, it's also important that um, the students are aware um, of different ways to learn language. So um, if you not only just teach the grammar or vocabulary, etc., but actually teach them different ways to learn the language. Um, and then make sure that the lessons are varied and interesting, that you don't do the same kinds of things all of the time. If you do, do something different and surprising and mix it up a little bit. Um, also, um, in terms of the tasks that you create, the tasks should be stimulating, they should be challenging, um, but not too difficult. Um, you should also make sure that you balance the difficulty level so that there's a mixture of challenging and ones that they can achieve more with more ready um, ease. Also personalizing the learning tasks and um, and giving tasks that yield like tangible, visible, final results can be very motivating. Um, it's also important that you give regular encouragement to the students. Um, make sure that you're encouraging effort rather than um, intelligence, for example, um, that will be more motivating. Um, in addition, you want to try to create a, an environment that's um, that their anxiety level is as low as possible. And ways to do that is drawing attention to their strengths, giving them positive feedback on a regular basis. Um, you want to um, encourage cooperation rather than competition. So having them work on tasks that they need to help each other and work together with each other. Um, also, um, if you build, you can build their confidence by teaching them specific learning strategies. Um, and also communication strategies so that they know how to deal with communication breakdowns that may occur. Um, and finally, giving them as much opportunity for choices as possible and giving them opportunities for self-directed learning um, can be very motivating. So I, there's a lot of ideas that I just shared. I hope that, I mean, you may already be using many of them, but I hope there are some ones that you can see how you can apply to your students and really improve their motivation. So, good luck. Thanks.